This is Lucian. He's a cheerful, charming 14-year-old with a contagious smile. He's also a non-speaking autistic. Like many non-speakers, for years, Lucian was believed to have significant intellectual disability. He was placed in a special day class at school where he was taught kindergarten level academics year after year. Lucian's parents, teachers, and therapists attempted many communication methods with him. Sign language, picture exchange, icon-based apps on the iPad, nothing worked. Aside from his most basic needs, Lucian had no way to communicate at all. At age 11, Lucian began SOMA RPM, a teaching method in which the student demonstrates his understanding by pointing to letters one at a time on a letter board. It gives non-speaking or unreliably speaking students access to age-appropriate curriculum, develops their motor skills and reasoning abilities, and frequently leads to open communication on the letter board. This is Lucian's very first session with an expert RPM provider, Lene Crandall. As she teaches, she offers him choices on paper, and he points to demonstrate his understanding. His wandering doesn't affect his ability to listen and answer, so she simply moves around with him. Yes, we're talking about rocks. Now, tell me one thing you know about rocks. Would you say rocks are usually <laughs> S-O-F-T soft or H-A-R-D hard? Each right here, once you have explored it. <laughs> soft or hard? Hard, but I just put your hand down so you can you can focus on what your hand is. Uh, yes. So usually rocks are going to be pretty hard. And would you say that most rocks G R O W grow or D O N don't grow? They grow or don't grow? Most rocks don't grow. You're right. But I'm going to tell you about one rock that's very unique in this world. <laughs> Then, she has him answer questions by pointing to the first letter of his response. And the crocodiles say, I'll tell you the truth. T R E G H. The truth goes with the word mountain or honest. Honest question. Put you over. Honest. I'll tell you the truth. Next, he chooses his answer and then spells the answer on the letter board. Lene knows what word he's spelling. So she gives verbal and visual prompts to help him succeed, building his skills as well as his confidence. So what they know about them is that it probably has to do with M-I-N-E-R-A-L-S, minerals, or with A-G-E-S, ages. Minerals, good. That's what it has to do with. Okay, so that's what scientists say. Let's spell mineral. Find this spot. There you go, mingle. M, good, mingle. I, and N, very good, up top. E, good, roll. Does that sound right here? Does that sound right here? A little higher. R, up top. A little higher. Up, you got there. R, then, there. O. A, and then, very good, O. L, very good, and minerals. So mineral, you, you will say you eat your vitamins and minerals. She also begins assessing his math knowledge. Spoiler, Lucian is really good at math. Ready? <laughs> the fine is also a stationary, ready? Seven plus two, nine, good. All right, now let's do... Monthly lessons with Lene served two purposes, building Lucian's skills and teaching his mom how to do lessons with him at home. One year later, and Lucian was answering open-ended questions on the full letter board. Here, Lene has asked him to list some things that are good to focus on in life. Notice that she doesn't use any directional prompts when the question is open-ended. So focus on what you eat. Okay, what else? Excuse me. Focus on L. Good, look at the board. Next one, E. L E uh -huh. that's what A then R N I N and G. Yeah, what you're learning. So you can focus on that, what I'm going to learn, what I'm going to study, 
how should I apply this knowledge? That would be something you would focus on. Okay, one more thing that you'd focus on. You should focus on S, okay, E, okay, oops, sorry, R, V, S, A, R, V, I, and E or C, C, then E, service, okay? So ways you could serve and help out, keeping your eyes open for opportunities that way, creating opportunities. So these are great things that you could focus on. Here, Lene teaches a lesson about synesthesia a condition where one sense triggers another sense at the same time. For example, a person with synesthesia may feel sounds, taste words, or hear colors. What's your colors? G, O, and O, then D, good, T, O, two, K, N, mm -hmm. J's O, K and O, W, <laughs> good, you <laughs> know, <laughs> good to know, Beja. I'm still looking at my eyes. N, M, these would make sense. Good to know, I, T, I, T, H and A, then the board. S, good to know it has. Go ahead. Reach out. <laughs> A, N, then reach out. A and M, and then E. Good to know it has a name. <laughs> so you experience some of these. There's many other types. Some people feel, if someone gets like punched, they'll feel the punch themselves. If someone you know, is wearing a backpack, they'll feel the strap, straps in their self, on their body themselves. Or if you have color with feelings, so they see someone's angry, they'll see a certain color. <laughs> so do you have, do you think you have something like this? Why? Good. <laughs> Go ahead. E and S. Yes. Awesome. And what would you say you have in relation to this? <laughs> I, S, and E, E. I see. I see. C, O, and L, I, O, okay, uh -huh. color, I see color, oops, I see color, W, and then look at the board, E, I, T, E, I, T, O, with, okay, good, I see color, with, V and O, then I and C, E, oh, that's kind of a good one. Kind of voices, so every person has a color of their voice. Y, mm -hmm. E, and S, very cool. Yeah, so there's another person, I watched a, a TED Talk. On More recently, Lucian has been working on handwriting. Lene holds the paper in the ideal position and helps him initiate movement when his hand stalls. So if you became an artist, what do you think that you'd be like? Do you think that you'd be concept-based or more for the beauty? Like doing the most beautifully talented, realistic piece kind of a thing. Or maybe just really abstract beauty. So beauty or concept-based, which would be your focus as an artist? C. Mm -hmm. O N C E T 
the concept. Okay, so you do the concept. Now, um, let's say that you had an art an exhibit, exhibit that you were going to do. And they said, Lucian, we appreciate your artistic talents. You've got some amazing creative ideas. What uh, exhibit topic would you pick? So she picked the sound of. What do you think you'd pick? Why don't you give me the first letter here? Just to make sure we're on the right, get started with it, right? G. The circle around loop. G. Mm -hmm. E. Nice clean E. R. M. <laughs> nice topic. Germs. Okay, so then we'll work through this topic. Lucian began openly communicating about a year and a half after starting RPM. His first spontaneous sentence came at the airport en route to a family visit. And what did he spell? I'm so excited to see Nanai and Papa. It's now very clear that Lucian is not intellectually disabled. In fact, he is incredibly bright. When assessed using a letter board as his means of communication, the results showed Lucian is highly gifted in reading comprehension, verbal ability, and numerical operations. He moved to a new school that supports his use of the letter board and for the first time had access to age-appropriate curriculum. He read novels and poetry, he wrote essays and research papers. He studied algebra and chemistry. He graduated eighth grade with straight A's, and he has a new self-confidence and pride that is an absolute joy to witness. Lucian and other non-speaking autistics describe a brain-body disconnect that makes them unable to control their bodies well. Lucian wrote a poem about it, and he is so proud of it that he specifically requested we include it in this video. All My Effort by Lucian Gonzalez. All my effort is not enough to get my body to obey. It runs wild, mad, lion, predator. All my effort is not enough to get my body to race, to fly high, free, fat, high flying. All my effort is not enough to get my body to calm, no gentle healing, peaceful, feline, languorous. Lucian spent many years misunderstood and underestimated by the people who were trying to help him. But when his disability is treated as a motor disability rather than one of cognition, when he is presumed competent and worthy to receive age-appropriate content, and when he is given the proper physical and emotional supports, he is able to demonstrate his brilliance. Lucian is not alone. There are many, many more just like him, waiting for their opportunity to shine.